Taylor Swift's The Era's Tour is upon us, guys! I think I should give away my tickets, yeah. Here, I need to say this, then I feel I'm not going to enjoy the whole thing. How many Jarrods do you think there are going to be in the stadium that's going to get offended? What, you care what? One. Ah! Okay, everyone, sing your favourite Taylor Swift song. Three, two, one. Don't play the game. Are you ready for I'm it? Going to win the era. What song is that? <laughs> this is your daily catch-up. Chaos. <laughs> Taylor Swift's The Era's Tour is upon us, guys! Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. So actually, by the time we release this episode, right, you oh. might actually be at the Sports Hub already and like <laughs> queuing up for Taylor Swift. Night like, one yeah. would have been over at this point. Night one might yeah. be over already. Oh, but you don't give a f Huh? Maybe you just don't care for Taylor Swift. Then this episode Maybe. is for you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is it? <laughs> <laughs> I do so know someone who will probably be watching from home la, because this whole gig was not without its drama. I'm going to give a little Reddit thread about the ERA store. Which has since been deleted. Thank goodness we screenshotted it. Let's put it up right here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is from The Vault. Am I the asshole for promising a ticket to my friend but ended up selling it? Ooh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> you, you need, the, you need the context. Oh, there's more. Okay. There's, oh, more. Context. there's a lot of context. There's okay. always more. Quickly running through it. I managed to get two tickets to Taylor Swift's concert and initially was supposed to go with friend A. Okay. But I bought the wrong date you are the where asshole. she couldn't make it. <laughs> so I asked friend B to go oh. with me. Oh. And what happens was that I did ask her to go with me but she couldn't afford. And she also mentioned that I should go with someone else who is willing to pay. Mm. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I did say I can bring her if there wasn't anyone else that I could uh, go okay. with okay. or Fair sell enough. to. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Win -win. And this was like last month. Okay. okay. From okay. the post. La, from the post. Okay. Yeah. From my end, my other friend was telling me to sell this ticket because this ticket itself is quite expensive. True. Fair. Which was what I eventually did because I didn't like talking to friend B. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ooh. Is that really a friend though? <laughs> Out of nowhere. Yes, yeah. So I'm just as surprised as Wait, you. Wait, that's the backup friend. Oh, oh, oh references. There we go. Call to a future episode. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that we have filmed in the past. Oh, it's getting messed up. So I went ahead and sold the ticket and didn't manage to inform her. That is very key. Yeah. Fast forward to last week. She suddenly texted me and said she forgot that the Taylor Swift concert is in March and it's already around the corner and she's already last minute shopping for her outfit already. So presumptuous. <laughs> That's when I mentioned that I actually sold the ticket and she was like asking me if I was like legit because she's just paid for the clothes that she bought for the concert. I apologized <laughs> and thought everything was okay but until I saw a social media where she is like saying that she was promised a ticket but the person sold the ticket. Oh my god, so I saw this on TikTok. So now she can't go see her. So you saw the, the friend B. POV, yeah. <laughs> okay, but that's gone. That's been deleted, I think. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I couldn't okay. find it. Final piece of context. The ticket was 1.3k. Fair enough. Wow. VIP ticket. Fair. Who is what the VIP? Yeah. The VIP, 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 VIP one. one. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I Who got stand? Oh. No, no, okay. it's all seated. All seated. Oh, okay. Singapore is all seated. We're all going to be standing that day, okay? No. <laughs> no. Watch me. See. My friend, right, sell the, she got front row ticket. She sold per ticket 2.5k. Ooh, scalper? Your friend you is know, a scalper? You know, right, the amount of China <laughs> Nepo babies that are trying to come here are... Got a lot. I okay, see. that's a mark. Is there a carousel for them? There's a WeChat. Oh. Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> this situation, whose side are you on? Who is the asshole? Wait, but we only have one point of view though. What was the other point of view that you saw? Oh, what is it? Like, no, no additional information. No additional information. My friends, uh, I supposed to go this concert, then after that, this person sold the ticket without telling me. It's just like that. Yeah, yeah, but it, we don't know whether the, who is telling the truth here because apparently it was a, if you cannot find someone to go with, then I'm the person to go yeah, with. Yeah. But that person probably say, I still don't want to go alone. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> it, it could be that person B assumed that if that person didn't inform me, then yeah. I'm most likely going. No? But then it's friend V's fault for not double confirming yeah. before buying non-refundable yeah. clothes. Yes. Also the clothes like how much? What are you doing? <laughs> she clearly not shopping on Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> I think quite clear lah. Huh? They are both assholes. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, because this person that wrote this post sold the ticket but didn't have the courtesy to inform friend B just because they don't like to talk to friend B. No, okay. I tell you three points where this person, the Reddit post, is the asshole. Number one, buy the wrong date. Then now friend A who wanted to go for a concert cannot go to the concert. Then second one, never inform friend B. Friend B who wanted to go to the concert cannot go to the concert. Yes. And then after that, the third one is that now friend B is finding out they are a backup friend. Correct. So you lost a concert and a friend. I think the biggest assholic vibe 
is that when they wrote the Reddit post, uh. they say, I don't like to, I don't actually like to talk to this person. Like, really? <laughs> yeah. That's that's so that was the most asshole thing to actually say. the most asshole part. <laughs> what do the comments think? I actually saw this post also, right? And when I uh, browsed through the comments, majority of people said, not the asshole. It wasn't your fault because you obviously only said that I would bring you if I couldn't send it to anyone. Your fault was to not inform the person immediately after you sold it. I think that this one comment, the top comment can actually uh, summarize it pretty well. This is a good example of improving communication skills. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, the second line. all are assholes to me, lol, because everyone didn't confirm with everyone the state of the ticket. <laughs> Damn, willing finger 6996. You are <laughs> spitting facts today. Thank yeah. you, 6996. Six, yeah. Okay, so John Paul just <laughs> informed me that, ah, uh, man, uh, let me reread the second <laughs> paragraph in- After people are angry really. <laughs> So from my end, my other friend was telling me to sell this ticket because the ticket itself is quite expensive, which was what I eventually did. But because I wasn't like talking to friend B. Yeah, it's uh, not yeah, because uh, I don't uh, like friend uh, B, okay, okay. okay. I apologize for everything I said Correct. to the editor. Instantly <laughs> OP is not- Not the not asshole. asshole. Hold up. Just because you weren't actively talking to that person doesn't mean you that you didn't, have. like you don't need to update that person after you sold the ticket. Okay, my first two points are still valid. <laughs> yes. No, though, I, I feel like if you were the one that I'm bringing, I will let you know. No, but then it's like, if why? I never I... tell you means you are not. No, but until when? Like, when's the deadline? If I'm like the backup and I'm on the bench, right? And then I'm like waiting for you to tell me, hey, am I still going or am I not going? But you are not, uh, clearly, because you are not. Asking me. Yeah, there's ethical for this one. If John like say like, hey, I'm going to bring you for like a uh, co-play or something. Yeah. Then yeah. Like, he don't talk to me up, leading up to like a week before the gig, right? I'm going to yeah. like text John like, no, but hey, I pay say, I pay say because I know on? that. Hey, you pay say, you don't see co-play lah. Then you don't see co-play. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. I think the difference is that this person offered to take them for free. Yeah. Because I think yeah. if the situation was, if I cannot find anyone else, then I sell to you at base price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. after that, I never update, right? Then I think for sure the redditor is the asshole. But no, because the it was key for difference, free, the yeah. key difference to me is that, okay, if you're going to bring me, you got to let me know because if not, right, I'm going with this other friend. Yeah, yeah. Then I got a cut-off date to inform you. If not, mm. I don't have a cut-off date. Or is the real asshole here the concert organizer? Because, right, okay. they <laughs> sold the tickets so far in advance, right, that people forget the situation that they are in regards to tickets. So when, 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 when this uh, OP right, wrote uh, and told friend B, hey, if I cannot, send, uh, I cannot find someone to buy it, I will bring you. Friend B immediately thought to themselves, oh, there's a chance I could go. Then as the months pass by, right, they keep thinking in their head, oh my God, I'm going to Taylor Swift. I'm going to Taylor Swift. I forget the conditions. It's because the concert organizer sold it too early. Right, so it's Taylor Swift's fault for booking Singapore. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> the so US then, ambassador's then fault. Taylor Swift. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, you don't like STB. Oh, you don't like your country. <laughs> <laughs> so the Taylor Swift question, right? So I'm realizing it now that there are, there are friendship, friendship bracelets being made. <laughs> you saying no. right. People could be exchanging it as we speak. Is it rude if I don't have it? No. No. No, I think it's rude if like, okay, I saw online, right? Like people are upset because certain people, they are very picky about the bracelets that they exchange. So it's like they see some, right? Then they're like, ah, I don't want yours. You are the then asshole. Then they go okay. elsewhere to exchange. You think like, window oh. shopping chart to chart? Like. So it's I, like, everybody make different designs. Sure lah, sure lah. Yeah. Like you can use threads and make as so, well. Right? I uh, think, right, the principle to take on for this, right, is the same as Ang Pao. You will obviously keep the $10 ones, the $20 ones, the $30 ones to give out. Oh, I thought and they might you might go home that open. No, no, no. <laughs> then, so you have different tiers. Then when you see that person, how close you, do, 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 do oh, okay, it's this tier. Then you give. So oh, then you okay, create, okay. right, different tiers of bracelets so that when you receive, right, wow, this one is damn high class. Then you return a high class bracelet. Oh, oh you need to make it. Oh my God, that makes this whole thing so troublesome. <laughs> no, but it's okay because I believe there are stories of people who don't make bracelets People are there to give out anyway. Yeah. They're making you, it you, be fine. There yeah. are people so, that from their seat they were troll. So, so if I can get, I can use it to trade. Is it? Can, is the ethics? Can, of, yeah. I didn't make it. Eh. Economy. No, 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 no. I think I think it's better if you didn't make it and you receive one, just take it and wear it. No, no, I, I wear it now. Now Denise comes to me. <laughs> you yeah. want to exchange? Yeah, and you want to exchange friendship basis? I'm like. You okay. Damn bastard. Damn asshole. Huh? No, but they, who the guy who threw won't know why. No, no. What if the person next to you saw, oh, you look at this boomer couple <laughs> coming for Taylor Swift concert. Pass hey, them two bracelets. Right no. the so that they can participate in the exchange. <laughs> that, that's not talking about the two of you. <laughs> sure, sure then, sure. No, okay. I'm just imagining, right? Let's say for some reason, uh, huh, yeah. I happen to have a, a holiday in Europe, right? Uh. Yeah, yeah. Where people on the streets be selling you bracelets and engaging them to say you don't want to buy could be a trap. The, the key is to ignore them 
them because when you True. have a conversation with them, mm. you stop to speak to them. Even yeah, if yeah, you yeah. say no, they start tying it on your hair and then they try and scam you. You imagine if I don't know that and I went to Rome for a concert, for example, and people just came to me in a language <laughs> I don't fully understand, offering ah. me a lot of bracelets and they're holding a lot of bracelets in their hand. Mm. I would just Take tell them to f*** off eh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, it's free, it's free. I don't no, I'll be one of the cops out. It's like there's peddlers here. <laughs> it's free until I wear it. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. Don't think it's my first time doing it. Like, I've never been. I really have never That's been. Like Europeans in Singapore. Like a fourteen-year-old girl. <laughs> I got a cops on this tutorial game. Speaking of things that I'm not sure where they came from, like to say, are like, you are you guys aware of like the chance and everything? Because I know you are coming in as quite a beginner, lah. One, two, three. Let's go, bitch. Oh, chance. I see, I see. Um, yeah, yeah, I think you have reviewed some of me. What do you remember? <laughs> what she just triggered. Okay. No, what song is this in? Oh, I don't know, lah, Xiao. how you know what you're supposed to say. <laughs> hey, I want to say, wah, <laughs> jala, just, I don't know, eh, how, ah. You're just going to randomly. You know, when I book <laughs> the Coldplay <laughs> and Taylor Swift concerts out of FOMO, pure FOMO, right? Uh-huh. And people like Dan telling me that these two artists, it's not just going and listening to their songs. It's a whole ass experience. Mm-hmm. So it's like, okay, like, I want to know, ma. Mm-hmm. So when we bought tickets, right, I'm thinking, I, I don't know. I don't know any song. I don't know any song, you know? But it doesn't matter. Like Coldplay, I was like, at the time, I was like, I can only name two, three songs. I can only name two, three songs. But then when you show up and when you prep for it, right? Then you realize, no, I only don't know two, three songs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Taylor Swift though, mm-hmm. I've been prepping since November. <laughs> eh. And none of the songs that I didn't already know, right? Uh-huh. Is, is caught in my head. Right. You know what I mean? No way, you cannot sing Cruel Summer. The Bridge. Uh. No, I know that one. He actually knows that one. Can oh. you? Yeah, Can yeah, you? Yeah. No, I mean, I, I can't tell you now. Uh. I'm drunk in the back of the car. No, no, no. no, you okay. no, no. Say, you but you don't say. need to be that level. I think, right? Jala! It has to be Can accessible. Can I wear an ACDC shirt without knowing all their songs? <laughs> yeah, I think concerts need to be accessible. I think when we've gotten to a point where we're paying extraordinary amounts of money, right? And then we have to do the prep work and the homework just to enjoy that yeah, concert, yeah, yeah. right? I feel like we've gone too far. Okay, there. I'm not saying that you have to know these chants. But going, I feel like the era store right, is going to be something that is really, really once in a lifetime concert. Kind. True. There, there is not going to be a live experience like this, I think, I dare say in our lifetime. Unless Justin Bieber do. What are you talking about? Jared Alex Tan. No, really? She's never going to do like her whole collection. There is not going to be a superstar of this level who is doing like a greatest hits tour that is on such a mainstream level that will... You know, you think Westlife said that last time before they do their greatest hits? You think Westlife is on, <laughs> is on Taylor Swift level? <laughs> no, but I don't think like 10 years ago no one would have thought Taylor Swift would be at this level. People thought yeah, it would yeah. be Beyonce and Lady Gaga. Yeah. And uh, like when Taylor Swift was a kid she looked up to Westlife and be like wow, one day I wish I can be as famous as them. Maybe. Yeah, I mean they were huge. They, <laughs> they had were huge. screaming girls everywhere they went. And uh, boys Tokyo too. I, mean, I don't know how I know that. <laughs> No, but what, what, I guess what I'm saying is that fine if you don't want to participate, but if you do know all the lines and all that, right? And yeah. you feel like a, a, a stadium of 60,000 people at capacity, uh, like all at the same time doing this, mm, getting in mm. on the joke. Uh. It's a religious experience. A yeah. joke? What's a joke? Not the joke, uh, but on the whole uh, like, oh, now this is where I say this. And then everyone says it. The person you don't know who's next to you say it. Then you're like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah but- like. <laughs> It's, yeah. it's quite religious. Yeah. I, I, I agree I'm, with what I'm you're not saying. That kind of person. I agree with what you're saying, but I think right that is if you are organically already a really good fan of of somebody. I think if you have to, <laughs> yeah, why are you going the era? No, because I think at the end of the day, it's, it's part of. <laughs> sorry, you sorry. have just said what it's going to. There's not not. <laughs> you trigger it. There's not going to be anything like this. I want to be able to pay for something that is going to be a, a historical event at the end of the day. I want to be able to say that I've experienced. Wow, this I am conflicted. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> I feel like gatekeeping, but at the same time, I feel like you you uh, gatekeeping. They you want to, yeah. <laughs> wow, look at the size of your gates. <laughs> no, and I should mention that I am the bigger Taylor Swift fan of like my relationship with Ned. Like she oh, wants I to go you're only because he yeah. was like ready to fight you. Eh. Yeah, like, I, I, words, bro. I have I have my era. My era is between the red to 1989 era. To me, that is her this album peak, names. peak Taylor Swift, right? And I didn't really care about anything after that. But <laughs> To me is that if I have to go and I need to stress out on my, ah, uh, the timing is, ah, uh, here, I need to say this, then I, I feel I'm not going to enjoy the whole thing because I'm not okay, organically okay, okay, okay. already invested to that level. Okay, I don't know what's the most stressful one, the chant, this one. Ah, uh, you belong with me. At one no point, way, I know at that one song, one point yeah. where she sing you belong with me, right? Then you're supposed to... Driving <laughs> in my house in the middle of the night, I'm the one that makes you smile when you know about to cry. Why? Don't know. The one that I like is the fearless one. So in the at the part where the bridge, right? Then she was saying it's fearless. Then everyone must put Damn. a heart shape. 
Oh, you sang it really well. Because <laughs> I only sang it. Now I feel bad. You know the worst part? Like, <laughs> Hey, don't take everything so personally. Yeah. Shut up, John. <laughs> but Taylor Swift does so he does too. You cannot compliment someone without insulting the other person. <laughs> the worst part for Nate and I, right, is that I think there's going to be part of us that will like end up by the third song going, I think we just should follow everybody, right? But our role is A. There's no one in front of us. There's Whoa. no one to copy him. We're expecting you to lead us. Eh. No, you gotta turn around and be the MVP for less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really like super oversized mittens, like little mittens there, you f around there. Try and land the aeroplane. <laughs> okay, okay, so as uh, as boomers who casually are Taylor Swift fans, yes. what are three things that we need to know so we can get away with it so that no one will judge us? Okay, important tip is that during Love Story, look around you because people tend to propose during the Marry right, Me do Juliet. It. So if you notice, help them film. It will, oh. it will it's a great. Uh, I see, I that? see. It will do them a great favor. Or okay. if you are planning to do it, don't. Because a lot of people are going to do it also. Yeah, it won't be special. <laughs> yeah. Unless your name is Juliet. Yeah. And your name is, and his name is Romeo. Unless you are. <laughs> I feel like unless Taylor Swift can see you, until she will say congratulations to you. If not, right, not worth. If she say congratulations, they just propose. Yeah, 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 then yeah. worth. So if you're going to the era store and you don't know shit, uh. one bridge that you should know, right? Okay. Is the Cruel Summer Bridge. Okay. And okay. take note that in the track you try to listen on Spotify, the bridge is going to come right after the, the second chorus. Cruel but as during, during, during the era store, <laughs> She's gonna give a little speech first. So don't How do you know? So oh. don't How do you know she's gonna give a damn speech. Know, we all know. Hey, you, change it up, ah, tete. Hey. <laughs> you know this reminds me of this reminds me of if you go to karaoke, right, and you sing John Bon Jovi's It's My Life, right? Everybody thinks that the third chorus is gonna come right after the guy jumps, like about to jump from the tr the, the bridge, right? Yes. And then everyone go, hey, it's but no. You have to wait for him to land first. Then it's my life. There's a two-second uh, like game. James always Blunt. remember. He's like, <laughs> always remember. <laughs> no, that, that one he's just jumping <laughs> off the, the cliff. Okay, okay. So basically, second chorus. Crew summer. Then after she speaks. Yeah. She's going to say like, probably Singapore. Yeah. Did, we, are you ready for... To, to, uh, like, oh, she started, I didn't know she started. Started. <laughs> She's going to say like, <laughs> she goes, Singapore, we have arrived or something like that. And we are about to hit our first bridge of the night and sing the bridge if you know it. I'm okay, drunk. So the rest of us just sit down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not me. Not talking to me. Okay. No, so what do I say? Or just sing the bridge? You sing, sing the bridge. La. I'm oh, drunk it, at so the back no, of the no car. No special feature to the bridge. You just have no. to wait. Don't sing straight because people know that you don't know. Because right. there is a TikTok clip of someone who screamed like before. Then like, like it's she, just I'm her. drunk. Then they say Then you can hear Taylor in the background. No, like, guys. <laughs> and this is why yeah. you should not sing. Yeah. <laughs> just wait. Yeah. Then no one, no one feels embarrassed. Or just mouth everything. Wow. Yeah, I, and don't melon this. I'll be so embarrassed that I will just go home. Yeah. <laughs> I shot it. Okay. No, no, you, you, you just have to act you got two heads and you gotta run with the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> they just no, keep no. going, I'm drunk. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that not how it works? Okay, can I ask? What is your what is everybody's toilet song? So oh. this concert is very long. Uh. She's singing 40 plus songs. Three yeah. hours. So really, uh, the Aeros playlist that is so long is really about this long. Uh. Anything it's... from midnight. No, no, sorry, what's the what's the one on Disney Plus? The album that she did there? Evermore? Ever or folklore? Folklore. Yeah, you, you, you. yeah, folklore, folklore. I don't know any song from folklore. I feel like I'll I go toilet. Exile then. is from folklore. Oh, except that song. But she's Adigan not performing. Is from performing. Ah, f I love folklore. <laughs> <laughs> but she's not singing any of those. <laughs> huh? Even the Bonnie Vare one. No, she's not. Do you I know any of the songs going? they're talking about? Holy f uh, they're gonna, people are gonna score us. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My How many Jarrods you think there are going to be in the stadium that's gonna get offended <laughs> if you I'm not? What? One. Ah! A lot. <laughs> no, so <laughs> a lot. This is always the case. Even in football matches, right? The real fans can only afford the very cheap tickets. So yeah. whenever you're in the uh, box seat or the very VIP, right, it's they're there for business. People la. to be there to be seen to be there. Yeah, don't yeah. take out your phone so reply like, email. Eh. Wow, please. No, but why does that what does that mean you unhappy? <laughs> it's like yeah, why, no, why can't why can't for example you do you? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think because it's like you being here, right, prevented. Yeah. Someone else who a really true wanted fan to be there. Being here. If it was a because ballot, fine, right? it was a ballot. No, 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 ballot no, pay. no I balloted to pay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, I mean, no, you, no, you, you honestly think though that if me minding my own business on that day might offend people around me. Honestly, I think you might they, go they viral. Might not, no, no, no. See someone video you. I think you. No, I, no, I think you get judgment. Mm. Silent judgment. Silent judgment. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And I think you can do with that. I can do with silent judgment. <laughs> I think I should give away my tickets, yeah. I, can, I cannot deal with judgment. <laughs> like, no, but, no, but you're sitting in the front row. <laughs> I've gone to concerts before from indie artists, right? And I really just don't know. I mean, I know one song, yeah, really, 20, really. right? I will just like mouth. 
to make it seem as though I'm singing yeah, along. No, the trick is to say watermelon. This is what I heard. Hey, yeah. now this cannot say that word. You say that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in another app. <laughs> and the best part is that when, whenever I mouth right and I finally get to the song that I know, I sing damn loud and I look at the person like, yeah, notice yeah, yeah. like, hey, 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 I sing okay. this part, you know. Is it okay to sing loud if I zao sia? Yes. No. I yes la, yes la. <laughs> no, like la. the close no, armor, the so bridge is so high, the key. No, you can, you can tune it down. Yeah, sing yeah. to your key. Yeah, you Scream in No, your but then key. if I sing it in my key, then it has to down. Which is fine. Which is okay. <laughs> Taylor can hear. <laughs> Taylor can See if she can. <laughs> That's not the theme of this episode. <laughs> Taylor Swift does not care. <laughs> Do what you want. Or every celebrity. <laughs> and then, can I stand up? So I'm seated at the like the non-floor seats. Then no, wait, I'm not even done with the previous one. I feel like, <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Back to you, back to you. I feel like if I'm there to hear the fuller sing, but uh, all I get to do is hear you sing, right? Mm. I'm gonna be f- and you suck, right? Mm. I'm gonna be so annoyed at you. But I dare to enjoy ma. So are we. So are we. But you can enjoy, like for example, hear me out, like you do you kind of vibe. Yeah, you know? speak now. Okay, so I so I you let me scream, I let you reply email. <laughs> no, but I'm already <laughs> minding my own business. Yeah, yeah. then go. No, but his then, emails doesn't affect you. Your screaming you. is coming into my space. Uh, you yeah. know? Your, your sound <laughs> vibrations entering my airspace. Yes. Uh, I think, right, since Taylor Swift's songs, right, they're so specific. There's moves for this song, things to say for mm-hmm. that song, right? I think there needs to be specific songs where people can sing along. So like we co-play concert, for example. Everyone sing together, fix you. Wow, very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not every single song, everyone shouting. So I think there's specific <laughs> songs. You sound like an old man, Eddie. <laughs> not every song, people shouting. <laughs> <laughs> Understand or not? Some songs can slow down. Uh, hey, anyway, to be honest, the, on looking at the setlist, there are full. going to be some songs that you not all every song is scream, scream, scream one. Uh. Oh, you'll be sorry. So Wait, people you say, will be right, screaming. if you realize you're sitting next to a folklore or ever more person, mm. then you're in for some shouting. They are the most sorry, hurt. How, how many albums has it been? Eleven. Yeah, yeah, How you sing along to look what you made me do, sir? Oh, that's oh, the best one. Look what you, you made me do. do. It's gonna be it's not singing. Everyone's just gonna be shouting. Like, oh, the old tailor can't come to the phone right now. Why? Because she's dead. Uh, you know, who is teaching all these things? You know, Excel sheet. No, how you know you need to shout? Excel sheet, Excel sheet. Okay, when did y'all know about the this bracelet thing? For reals? Oh, very long ago. Yeah. US tour, it was trending on TikTok already, ma. TikTok, so it's TikTok. It's TikTok. Yeah, see, TikTok. See, that's why we are so isolated. No, but I think, right, you have to be inclusive because Taylor has boomer fans. Unless you think Taylor don't want more fans. You see if she cares. <laughs> 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 Can I stand up if I have a seated ticket? What do yes. other people do on TikTok? I think that's Because the... apparently, I asked Alison about this, right? She said right. overseas, right? They all stand up, man. Like the seat is just where you're supposed to stand. But that's just okay. disrespecting the people that But Singapore is like, if it's supposed to be handicap. seated. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, yeah. I, I think it depends on culture yeah. because, right, when I went for Coplay, my whole area, right, was like, what looked like Asians. I don't know which South okay. Asian. <laughs> oh, were, I thought Asians. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the f*** like Asian. to buy? Like, which no, no, because oh. Alison said overseas, they all stand up, right? Insurance. But there were literally only four Caucasians in that whole section. Right? And I see them stand up and everyone's just so annoyed. Oh no. Mm. Then, yeah. then they're like, but so, they're also standing and looking like, how come you all not standing up? Uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's fix you, you know? It's not, it's not, it's not. So they're like, tum-tum, tum-tum. you know, I also had a realization, right? So I went with Pat and um, her good friend and a good friend's sister. Uh. Mm. And the three girls were like standing up doing the white people dance. Ah. Uh. Then I'm like, no white people. Oh my god, <laughs> when we were young, there's always three white ladies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Every oh theater God, show, yeah. show, and they usually take the balcony seats, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. musicals and shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have never disrespected these white ladies. I always feel like I wish I was as free, mm. uh, yeah. spirited, yeah. and as courageous uh, as them. Brave. Yeah. yeah. And Pat is said white lady. Nice. Oh. Yeah. She has been gentrified. <laughs> That's right there. Wow, wow, what a way to say it. But what I'm scared about is if I stand up, I block like three people. All right. No, I think for the era tour, right. for the era tour, <laughs> the seats are standing. everyone who has legs. <laughs> And they work <laughs> can stand up. <laughs> that's very offensive. Yeah, that's why I say. No, so the problem is that work. in Singapore, every single seat is a seat. Like yes. there's no mosh pit that you yeah, stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then, like, but I want to stand up to enjoy my. Oh, I feel bad if, like, say, I am a one one eight three individual, right? And behind me is like a twelve year old girl, because I'm sure there are going to be many of those mm. at a Taylor Swift concert. Oh, how do you afford? She cannot see even if she stands. Yeah. Okay, fine. Then we swap seat. Cause not much difference, one row. I don't mind. They gotta sort all the way to the back. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> don't give up your seat. <laughs> they, they see you, they're weeping. They give them because they're like, oh, just a row. 
Oh, okay. little yeah, person. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Little people. <laughs> but the Singapore Stadium is really built in a very nice cascade. Yeah, to Like when they yeah. stand right, you can don't stand one. Oh, and, okay, okay. Uh, and all my Malaysian friends that came right are like, oh my god, why is it so cooling? It's because there's that metal cooling yeah, thing under yeah. your hair. Is it cooling enough to wear long sleeve shirt? No. I'd rather you okay, not. You. La, cooling enough wear. for you to <laughs> not you. sweat if you wear berms and a oh. t-shirt. I honestly do try to wear a thin long sleeve shirt when I go to this kind of like a lot of people kind. Uh. Cause sweat. I, the when you body. squeeze the... Crop, uh, right? Then I don't want to sweat, feel uh. your sticky. Okay, John okay. don't like when hand sticky, hand right touch yeah, 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 and then yeah, yeah. do that. Like the Velcro <laughs> thing. Uh. <laughs> so like when Pat and I were in um the last festival that we went to. We were in young. Vegas. When we were young in uh, Vegas, okay. where all the punk rock bands all came back. We really started at the front. But because the festival is really day until night, mm. like late night, by like 5-6 p.m., our backs really damp pain. And the day before, we really walked one our back really very, very pain really. Adio. And so we kept moving back, moving back because you think you are standing still, right? But as the crowd feels, 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 right? You find yourself suddenly move back five meters, like, you know? Oh. Mm. And then when this band came up and they were like, those mosh kind of bands, right? And then they start saying like really ominous shit, like I want to uh. see destruction. And I was like, right? <laughs> Did not. Ben and I started looking at each other, then like you can see the people our age and our, right? Because they're all like emo bankers, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they're, they're still trying to paint their face, but you know they are Wall Street, one. You know these are 40 year old, 30 year old Wall Street people. <laughs> so then we this thing, start picking our shit, like putting like things in the pocket seal, then we start walking back and migrating back together. Why huh, you never joined in? Because it was he cannot they do, might uh, die. Eh. Like, I would die. If they yeah. spear me, I would have died. Spear. What a weird <laughs> My back was so pain. And okay. then he would do the circle of death, which is yeah, banned yeah. in so many countries. Yeah. yeah he yeah. was like requesting it. Eh. Oh. He was like, build, build a circle of death, build a circle of death. Then he's like, oh, not enough, like bigger. <laughs> so like, us at the edge, right? It's a finite venue space, which yeah. means if you want a bigger circle of death, but no new entrance, <laughs> it means the people at the edges are all squashed. You because just, you are three people away from a grinder, eh? You know what I mean? <laughs> from a punching, from a punching ass grinder, eh? No. By white people, eh? <laughs> then they're strong, ma. <laughs> Their bone density is so high. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and that's it for today's episode. Uh, to all those at the Eras tour, enjoy yourself and please be safe. Uh. Uh, yeah, let's not cause a stampede or anything. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye bye. Bye bye. You know, when you first asked your toilet song, I thought, what songs do you listen to when you take a shit? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, oh we all God. have a shit song. I have it. <laughs> I, I don't know any Evermore songs. Unfortunately, my toilet song is the... To, my toilet era is the Evermore era also. Your Evermore. toilet era? Evermore, yeah. Evermore. I go in Evermore. around... Shut the f*** up, up la! <laughs> <laughs> I get so pissed off, man. I'm not getting f*** in my life, John. <laughs> You're not letting him live his life. Yeah, it's true. 